I'm just a fella now. I ain't no different than anyone else. Unforgiven talked about the regret of violence. What's it like for anybody all of a sudden look back on it one day and you say, what the hell have I done? It's a hell of a thing killing a man. You take away all he's got and all he's ever gonna have. In the case of William Money, he was just a wild, crazy person, renegade uh, young man, and he had terrible conscience about it. And I believe that most human beings have a conscience. And so those are, those are ways of looking at violence in different ways. The violence is portrayed as sort of awkward, often tedious, painful. Unforgiven plays a little trick because I believe it pretends to be an anti-Western. It starts with a guy who's forgot how to be a gunslinger. He can't even get on his horse without trying three times. But at the end of the movie, he pulls off a six-second miracle, and in that six seconds becomes the gunslinger of the true mythic West. I've killed women and children. Killed just about everything who walks or crawled at one time or another. And I'm here to kill you, little Bill. Clint Eastwood's gun misfires, and he still takes out four guys. Any man I see out there, I'm gonna kill him. Stay in your house, I'll kill all of you. Any son of a bitch takes a shot at me, not only gonna kill him, I'm gonna kill his wife. In that moment, he becomes something larger than life. You better not cut up no otherwise harm no horse. Or I'll come back and kill every one of you sons of bitches. On the one hand, is reconstructing the mythology of the West, as well as deconstructing the myth of the West. Ned, you remember that drover I shot through the mouth and his teeth came out the back of his head? I think about him now and again. He didn't do anything to deserve to get shot. Basically, what he's saying is, in the core, still flickering like a little flame you can't quite snuff, is the spirit of what used to be, of what could be, endless possibility. But it's all degraded, it's all gentrified, it's all fallen down. I was just blown away by it. I walked out and I, I thought, that's a great script. I was just floored. I think it's one of the best American films of all time. I remember watching it and just being astounded. I left the theater and I, I didn't think a better movie could be made. A, certainly a better Western could be made, but a better American movie, it was stunning to me. I think Unforgiven and Shane and One-Eyed Jacks and The Searchers are probably, without a doubt, the single best Westerns that were ever made in, in the history of cinema.